Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Talk about a page out of farming history. Take a look at this bright red beauty. It's a 1938 Farmall F20 with a very rare lister planter and cultivator attachments. It's the pride and joy of Craig, Missouri's Jackie Lee Miller, a guy who is full of surprises. They just said I'd never get it running. <laughs> But I think I fooled. <laughs> Jackie's family did have their doubts about whether the 1938 Farmall tractor and its cultivator and planter implements could be salvaged. Because it was in bad shape. So I just thought it was past being able to fix. I don't remember ever seeing it like this condition. It needed a paint job when I was small. To me, it's probably as good or maybe even better condition than it was when they bought it new. Restoring this classic tractor to better than new condition wasn't the only surprise Jackie had up his sleeve. I bet there ain't very many people that's got the call, man. That's got the man. <laughs> you got quite a bit of labor here. What's not a surprise is the strong bond between this tractor's history and the families. This farm all workhorse did double duty on the farms of both Jackie's father and grandfather. Well, it's Dad's first tractor he ever bought. And you see the coal layer and the planter on it. You can hear the dogs uh, click, click, click like in an air planter. You know. I remember plowing, disking, cultivating, and all that, planting. I remember all of that very well. I cultivated a lot of corn in my life with it. It seemed a lot, a lot of hard work. And hard work of not just the tractor, but its implements. That's why it's important to Jackie to preserve his family history with a hard-working farmall tractor, planter, and cultivator. I'm proud of it. I dreamed when I got along. And even though it made farming a lot easier in 1938, the farmall F20 is, well, no prize winner compared to today's generation. I'm glad I don't have to run it. Let's put it that away. I'd rather run the new tractors compared to these old ones. I'd hate to go back and have to drive equipment like that more. Uh, don't bother me as much as I didn't own, have air conditioning as much as I don't have power steering and stuff like that. I feel real good. I, I like to run it. The only thing I miss, all of the new tractors have got power steering. We ain't got power steering on them. But the big old F-20 did have its advantages. More than 154,000 of these red tractors were sold from 1932 to 1939, and farmers found a lot to like, including plenty of pulling power and a tight turning radius that shaved valuable time off turning around at the end of each row. What I like about when we were plowing corn, we didn't have to count the rows and turn into it. I could like I'm heading, coming out of the field, I could turn that square around. I didn't think at the time it was a real good thing. It's just like I suppose things now, you know, I, I suppose our kids will look at, our grandkids will look at what we tractor down and they'll think, well, you know, we're insane. After many years at a frenzied work pace, Jackie could now spend his time indulging his passions. I'm Jackie Lee Miller, I got classy tractor fever. No doubt, this guy's case of tractor fever is red hot. And it's no surprise how much Jackie's family appreciates what he's done to preserve this important piece of their family's history and their hand in it. Well, it just makes me happy that he's got to enjoy a few things and he's, he's doing something that he, he, he likes and enjoys and getting to spend some time instead of, like my son said, working all the time. He's getting to do something that means something to him and, and something that he can be proud of that his dad had that he didn't know that we got it fixed up. but. It, I think it just makes him feel good inside to get this accomplished and to pass it on down to his family. So it makes me proud that he fixed it up for passing it on down the generations.